Jesus, Jerry, you couldn't have gotten us the better one? Yeah, I get that it was free, but fuck. Hey there, kids. It's me, Safari Sam. And today... We're talking about fossil concretions again. Last time, we looked through a bunch of stuff from the Savannah River near Savannah, Georgia. You know, that was hard to guess. But, to, like, we didn't really talk about how they're formed. We just looked at them and tried to find individual fossils within them. And today, we got this big old chunk here to look at. But also, we're going to talk specifically about how these puppies are made in nature. A lot of this information is going to be coming from a certain university, Nagoya University. Uh, easy peasy. Non-Jewish, I suppose. I'm not, I'm not being anti-Semitic, Jerry. It's, look, the Goy is in the name. It's a, it's a fucking joke, Christ. So, as an animal or plant, you know, dies, its remains get inside the sedimentary layers deposited on the bottom of a lake or a sea. As I've said many times on this show, water is necessary for fossilization. So the decaying organic matter, like these shells here, release calcium, which these shells would have been full of, that's why you often see them, and they have, since they're hard and stuff, they have a, uh, nature to be fossilized. A preservation bias, you could say. What do you mean I said that like I came up with it? No one thinks I came up with anything smart, Jerry. Anyways, the calcium reacts to form the mineral calcite, and the calcite then cements together sand and clay particles, right? This happens very fast, before any of this decaying matter decays completely, which helps preserve all of these fossils here. And then sediment just keeps getting cemented together over time, forming this hard, compact concretion around fossils. Now this is just a chunk of concretion. A lot of the times they're like big orbs, you know, big old nodules. Uh, but this is one that's already kind of been busted into and it set a uh, So as soon as the formation of calcite stops uh, and there's not enough calcium present in the sediment. It just, it just kind of stops, forming sharp contact between the concretions and the surrounding sediment. Erosion removes the softer sediment around it, leaving the weather-resistant concretion intact. Sometimes you'll just see these giant round rocks fall out of the sides of cliffs from erosion. There's probably fossils in those fuckers. Very cool. And the fact that they're rather re weather-resistant keeps them intact. Like, just the fact that fossils are preserved at all is just remarkable, to be completely honest. And then, you know, a geologist, paleontologist, or just a hobbyist, you know, comes along, they look for some kind of cool fossil, they split up in the concretion with a hammer, which we hope to do on the channel at some point. And then we see some very, very cool stuff inside. But this is one that was very large, already been cracked open. Uh, you can see it's mostly just shells in this bitch. Ugh, God. A lot of trace fossils too, all of shells it seems. Look at those little mollusks. Just a lot of good little guys in there. Hey good little guys. There's a lot on this end. Fuck, those were my notes. Damn it. Whatever, forget it. Oh, that's a big old chunk. This thing's heavy and sharp. Should have worn gloves, Lord. You can see little shell bits right there on the corner. Look at them all concreted in there. Concreted. Oh, there's a lot up on this side. Lord. Oh, there's a big boy. Look at that big boy. So many fossils out there to find, so many to explore, and nature's still making more of them. Wow. God, that's cool. Whew! But that's it for today. Just wanted to do a little one uh, about concretions. Since we looked at so many of those uh, last time, I figured, yeah, we need to actually talk about how they're made. So that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below. 
Blah, 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 Facebook, Twitter, etc. We might be even selling some fossils and rocks on eBay. Who knows? I think B3 is opening a physical store somewhere. That's definitely going to have already happened by the time this goes up. Huh. But yeah, that's it. Thank you all once again. I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.